what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are finally back playing some arc. So I took a bit of an arc break, went on vacation, went to Vegas for a bachelor party, had a great time. Now I'm like, you know what, let's do some arc. So Bryson, a guy who we often play with, he went ahead and set up a new server, and uh, we're gonna check it out. I don't know much about the mod list. He did send it to me. I didn't even look at it, but I know it is based on a mod called Redemption. Um, and I've told it's very dangerous and hard, uh, but we should, oh, man, I probably need to play with some uh, settings and stuff. A lot of things have changed in ARC since I've been playing, but the basics never change, which is we gotta get some food and we gotta survive, punch some trees, the whole deal. <laughs> so it has been a little while. Um, things feel a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit out of practice. Like when I first loaded in, I was like, what exactly should I be doing right now? Oh, by the by, if you guys uh, do enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and hit ring that little uh, subscribe bell. This thing's cool, what is this? What does that say? Alpha Pteranodon level 580? That seems excessively high. Um, I wonder if, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the mod pack, see exactly what's going on here, because I don't really know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start gathering some stuff up, punch some trees. Uh, let's see, do I have enough to make? See, I haven't played enough with this new interface. Let's go ahead and make a pick. All right, so we can go ahead and get some stuff done. Let's go ahead and start with a little bit of health and we'll learn. Oh, everything is organized differently now too. Okay, very confusing. Hatchet, yes. Campfire, heck yeah. This music is gnarly. I don't know how loud it is. I'm gonna have to check my settings. Um, but the music is like, I don't know if this is a mod or this is just new music they added into the game. Or it's because I'm close to something super dangerous, but man, it is cool. It makes things feel super, super intense. All right, can I go ahead and make that hatchet now? Come on. Give me the hatchet. Heck yeah. Make a torch, just for safety's purposes. Okay, so uh, they were telling me, the guys that we play with, that this is so hard and they've lost things over and over and over again. And these guys who have thousands of hours in this game, who know theoretically what they're doing, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some time and gather up some stuff. Uh, get, get a couple levels, get a little bit of food, the whole deal, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and crafted up a bunch of wooden stuff so we can actually start building a little bit of a hut. Um, just something to get us started, even though I have a feeling that a hut is not gonna do a whole lot for us, but it's still something. So I made sure to do a lot of S plus this time. Um, so usually I forget to do that. <laughs> and it definitely makes a big difference to the S plus so I can pick it up later. Uh, if needed, if I decide to move. Oops. What? Where did that place? What? Where did it go? Well, whatever. We're just gonna be one short now. Ow! Okay, see, see like that. I placed that and it's in the ground. I wanna pick that sucker up and put it on the other side because that is obviously the wrong choice. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to make one more of those. Um, and I've been trying to learn, I believe there's enough Ingram points. Ugh. Come on, come on, right there. Perfect. I believe there's enough Ingram points to learn everything. So I've just kind of been learning everything. Oh, this is such a pain, go. And we're one short, ah! Okay, we'll put a door right here. And we'll put another one over here on the back. So you always need, a, you always need an escape route. Now I believe this server is set up to be PVE because everything is so gnarly. Like if you look, let me kind of look around here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you see some regular stuff and then, wait, where'd the big old shark go? The Jaws music was actually playing. There's like a giant shark around here. Oh, there it is. Uh, you can't really tell how big it is there, but we'll see if it comes up to the shore. It is, ma oh, is it coming? Oh, oh, it's coming. Watch, see if it comes out. No? Not gonna come out, huh? All right, well, just trust me, it's big. <laughs> it's gnarly. Can I get up here? Get it! Nope, okay. We're gonna have to build a ramp. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this building, uh, kinda get some stuff going, and then we need to go out and find some hides so we actually make a bed and whatnot. Uh, and then once I get some stuff going, I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, so I was gonna go ahead and start making some storage boxes and stuff to add to our little hut when I just saw that uh, this trike right here is a passive tame. I don't know what the rates are quite on this server, but look, it's level 160 and it's, wait, it said passive, there, it's passive. What level's this guy who can't move? 360, that's even better. Let's go ahead and start taming him. Oh, 4%, okay, so we can just let him kind of chill there. Oh, did he fall asleep? 
Oh, he's so happy. Look how happy he is that we fed him a berry. Yay. Oh, just perfect. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let this guy uh, kind of keep on eating. We're gonna keep past taving him. You know what, let's past tame the other one too. Where is he? Nah, I don't wanna chase him around. Okay, so we've got these reusable spears. Now, okay, I'm a little nervous here. Cause what, oh, I don't know if we're ready for this. I don't know how they work. It's part of the mod. Okay, he's mad though. I didn't even see his level. I'm trying to spit at me. Okay, let's see if we can take him out. We need some hide real bad. I don't know quite how these reusable spears work, but it said it make at least two, so I went ahead and made three. Yeah, just keep spitting at me. Just keep your distance. It's weird, I'm not getting any like hit marker noise or anything. It's just kind of numbers coming up, but as long as the numbers are coming up, I'm not gonna complain. Come on. Oh, got them. Give me a hide. Oh, and he drops a bag? Glasses skin, all right. Let's go ahead and check on our trike, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make some storage boxes. Uh, try to add it to our little hut, make a mortar and pestle, make a bed, that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully I can find some dodos or more dilos. Oh, you're hungry? There you go, bud. Don't worry about it, I got your back. And uh, when we get a little more stuff going on, I will bring y'all back. All right, with just one more feeding, our trike should be done, and we'll have ourselves an awesome tame. And there we go, we'll call him first. Because <laughs> he is our first time. Awesome, so now we actually gotta get these uh, trees out of here so we can get out. But we got ourselves, I don't even know, I mean, I assume we're high enough level to make a saddle for him, I'm not sure, but we definitely don't have the hide. I just used all the hide that we did have to make a bed. Can you, do, can you just chill for a minute, please? Jeez, gosh. All right, now come on. Come on first. Come on home, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at his stats. Oh yeah, level 539 Triceratops. Let's take a look. 7,400 health to start, 1,000 weight. He'll be great for berry, gathering some berries and stuff. Come on over here, bud. And we'll leave you on, uh, what are you on, attack target or whatever. Let's go ahead and put you on neutral. And let's take a look. Uh, do we learn the saddle yet? Uh, search, T, R, I. Track saddle, cost 12. We need another level to learn it. Okay, but I'm sure I need to go get some more hide, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these spears out, uh, go get some more hide, and then hopefully we make a saddle pretty soon. All right, guys, I went ahead and killed a bunch of dodos, made a trip for a little bit of hide, and I think we should have enough. Let's see, what does it take to make the trike saddle? Uh, uh, fiber, we got that. And we're making a saddle! All right, let's go ahead, do we have anything extra? Two hide extra after all that, holy crap. Oh, you know what we actually also need is a fire. Campfire takes thatch, flint, stone, and wood. Thatch, flint, stone, wood. Let's go ahead and make one of those suckers. So we do have a good amount of meat now, so we're gonna need to cook a little bit of that up. Okay, let's throw the rest of this stuff back. Yes, yes. Wait, nope, give me the campfire back. Always gotta keep things nice and organized. One of the most important things in the game. Let's go ahead and throw this campfire down right over here next to our fog remover that we built. Bam, throw some meat on there. Oh, we need a little bit of wood. A little bit of wood for fuel. Come on, half, give me half. Ugh, well, I feel like the splitting stack system is different now and it's giving me quite a problem. All right, where's our trike? All right, first, first things first. Saddle, second thing second, skin. What, I can't use the skin? I thought the, oh, is this a skin for me? I thought it was a, oh. Is it for me? All right, well, let's check it out. Oh yeah, we look smart as hell. All right, let's go ahead and hop on this sucker. And we are mobile, heck yeah. All right, so now let's see, check out the berry gathering goodness. Oh, good berries. So now I can actually use this guy and hopefully go kill some more stuff. I don't wanna go that way. I saw this glowing red raptor thing over there. You know, let's kill one of these, uh, Par let's kill this Parasaur. They give some pretty good hide, I think. And we do need some more hide. And someone told me they're aggressive. Let's see. Oh, where are you going? Oh, don't run off the edge. And screw you. Okay, there's one right next to our base. Oh, you are going down. There's also a bunch of trikes and stuff, so we got lots of good stuff to kill. Having just anything to ride makes such a difference early on. What level is this guy? 360, he's definitely gonna run away quick, huh? Yeah, get stuck. 
Oh, he's attacking. Come on. Come at me, bro. Keep coming. I can do this all day. I got 7,500 health. Oh man, this knockback is gonna make this battle take a solid minute. Come on, always oh, getting bloody. As long as he doesn't start running away, that's a huge waste. Plus, it'll get us some levels on our trike, which will be nice. He's actually doing good damage. 127 is not bad for a parasaur. You got him. Okay, hop off. Get all the hide in the world. Oh yeah, we're going on a hide freaking marathon. Look at all that! All right, I'm after a pair. Oh no, what do I need? Wooden thatch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and repair my pick, and then I'm gonna, let's go take this guy out and see what. I, oh my gosh, you see that? What in the world? Okay, let's let's not go on foot. Let's get our hide. Let's not get distracted, and let's go see what the heck that is. And hopefully, it's not something that's gonna murder us. Thank you. This way. Oh yeah, I think up in speed is definitely where we're going. Is that a giant squid? Holy crap, look at that sucker. That's no joke. Oh, there's the giant shark over there. All right, let's kill ourselves some trikes. They're like, no, why? We were once family. Oh yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and, man, that thing is gnarly. I wonder if it can attack you. Look how its arm is like sticking up onto the beach. I wonder if it'd actually attack you on the beach. Nonetheless, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll take off all our armor and go check it out. But probably not. Probably we'll kind of let it do its thing. <laughs> you just chill there and we will stay far, far away. Can this Bronto not be on my base, please? Ah, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the hour and a half or however long it's gonna take to kill these guys. Get some hide, oh, there's one down. Get some hide, oh, there's a Dodo too. Oh yeah, all the hide. And uh, get some stuff, meat cooking get some hide made, and then go ahead and get on back to base, start building, we need to build a forge, we need to build a smithy, we need to build mortar and pestle, and all these things we're gonna need this hide for. Heck yeah, here we go. Get the hide. Anyways, I'm gonna get some, go ahead and get this stuff killed, get some stuff built, Now I'll bring y'all back. Okay, so we've got a problem. There's a, I don't know if you can see it over by the base, like a translucent orange raptor who has decided that he owns our base now. And I just saw him take out that Bronto that was over there like it was just a thing to do. So I'm hoping he wanders away. I've been beating up these metal or these uh, river rock looking things here to get a little bit of metal. Um, oh, repair. And so I'm just keep doing this and kind of try to wait it out because I'm pretty sure that guy would absolutely destroy us and our base. So I'm just gonna kind of let him do his thing and see what happens. All right, this translucent raptor doesn't seem to want to leave, so I think the only thing we're going to have to do is uh, try to lure him off. So I put our trike on passive, left him all the way up here, put, oh, I didn't put quite everything on him. Let's give him these uh, berries as well. We gathered almost 100 metal, and we're going to try to just lure him away. Because right now we're stuck between, like, Cthulhu over there and freaking orange raptor. All right, where is he? So I'm just trying to run right by him and keep running that direction, I guess. I'd really rather he be over here, though. But I don't, want, I don't want to lure him too close to the trike. All right, here, we're ready. Here we go. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, do you see us? No, okay. We have a level. Level in movement speed, obviously. All right. Stamina might have been good, too. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, is he walking away now? Now he wants to go. All right, we'll, we'll help him on his journey. Where are you, bud? Hey. Are you aggroed? Right here. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, get him all the way back in this corner somewhere. Is he coming? Come on. Where are you? Oh, and it's getting dark. It's Gamma 5. Oh, it's a little little bright. Where'd he go? What the heck? Uh. Ah! Oh, and there he is! Spirit Walker Raptor level 360. I didn't even lead him way that far. Oh, it's not not nearly far enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, respawn. Oh, the gamma is real. I can't even see what these say. Oops, I just respawned random location. Alright. Okay, where are we? 
We're probably just gonna have to- No! I see damage over there! That's bad! Bad, 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 bad. Okay, how, where are we? Ooh, a little bit far. No, we're not that far. We're not that far. Let's run down the beach, see if we can... Oh, is there like a golden... Gigantopithecus over there? Okay. Maybe, just maybe we can go see what that was. Hopefully that was just damage against me and not, like, killing my trike or something. I don't think I got a death message, did I? Oh, I don't even have a tribe. So there's, there's no way to know. Okay, there's Cthulhu. What's up, Cthulhu? Okay, hopefully we let him far enough away that he continued to go that direction. Oh, that's terrifying. Think Cthulhu will come chase us over here if we jump in the water? Uh! Nope, I think we're good. All right. Okay, our trike looks okay. We may have to do another run. Okay, let's get our stamina back. I don't care about getting our body because it is empty. Oh, here we go. Ooh, dang it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna try to lead this sucker away uh, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, we should have everything that we need now to build some of our crafting stations. Let's do a forge. What does it cost? Okay, let's go ahead and make one, two of those. How about a mortar and pestle? Let's go ahead and make one. Two of those. And I think for the smithy, we need metal, right? That's correct, okay. So let's go ahead and place those suckers down. Let's do this here. We'll throw the rest of this in here. And we can throw these down. Okay, we've got a decent sized space here. Okay, throw the mortar and pestles over here in the corner. This way, maybe? This way? Let's do this way. One. Two. And your forge is probably right next to him, actually. Uh, will there be enough room for a smithy there, too? I hope so. We're gonna find out. One. Two. Yeah, we might be able to squeeze a smithy in here, but... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we can always rearrange things. That's not a problem. So we got those, we got those. What else we need? We need a... Uh, what's that sound? What's that sound? Okay. We need uh, to get this metal starting to smelt. So let's go ahead and take, like, some of this. And we can go ahead and throw it in here. Let's throw in half of this. And half of this. And light that sucker up. And this in here. And hopefully then we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves a smithy and then actually get into metal tools. So I'm going to give that stuff a little bit of a chance to cook up. And actually, do we have, have we even learned narcotics yet? I need to go through my Ingrams and learn some stuff and level up in the whole deal. Uh, so it's just gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go let that stuff craft up, get some metal smelted, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. So we have went ahead and made the smithy and placed it down there. Let's grab any other metal here. And it's time to make some tools, some metal tools. Uh, okay, yeah, keep taking it. Take, give it all to me. So we should have enough to be able to make both the pick and the hatchet, beautiful. Uh, once we get an, oh, how much, what about the upgrade station? What does that take? Metal, stone, oh wait, there's two. This one's way more expensive. And this one's so much cheaper. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if I wanna waste my stuff on it yet. Interesting. Huh, it's like an upgraded one? We can make this right now though. We do have enough stuff. Let's do it. Take all. What am I short on? Stone. And, oh, it uses raw metal. <gasps> oh, give me some raw metal, quick. Okay, and then some stone. So if we can upgrade these tools, that would be fantastic. Let's craft one. Heck yeah. Why not? We throw the rest of this stiff. Let's throw this stone back in here. Just enough so that we can walk. Okay, throw all of it back in there. Can we move now? Let's see how big this sucker is. So the next step actually is I want to get into stone. Okay, can we fit this sucker right here? Heck yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So now if I throw in this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Ah, throw it all in there. Okay. So let's see. 
So what does it take to upgrade if I do the hatchet, let's say, attempt upgrade. Beautiful. And this one too? Okay, two more metal to upgrade the pick. We'll upgrade them just one time each for now, and then we're actually gonna go take this stuff out and start gathering stone and more metal. This will just make it so we don't have to repair it as much, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so look at that. Oh, yes. Replace this and replace this. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and gather some stuff, and hopefully we can replace this stuff with stone. All right, guys, I went ahead and made a bunch of stone stuff. Uh, it's not quite enough to replace the entire base, but it is pretty close. Let's see. Oh, I forget. <laughs> We're going to get materials back, which is great. Except for it's going to over encumber me, which is not so great. Oh, I was placed wrong. I hate when it places in that weird... I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, maybe that was right, after all. Okay, good. Keep dropping off the materials here. Hey, at least we'll get a lot of stuff back, which is good. Um, keep replacing... The truth is, the, uh, the stuff in the area, the resources are not respawning very quickly, which I am not a huge fan of. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And... Oh, we got some walls, but we have enough... Where did it place? We have enough walls that it should at least protect our bottom layer of our base. And most of the top. I didn't bother making any ceilings yet. I'll get around to it eventually. Uh, but, well, before today, guys, I do think that is gonna be it. Is that the whole bottom? Uh, actually, no, it's not. There's, we missed some on the outside, didn't we? There we go. If you guys did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share if you have not done so already. You can also check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google+, Plus, even though I know nobody ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com. Also, I have a tip jar, and there should be a link in the description below. Oh, man, I look ridiculous with this hair. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the first episode of the new server on Ark. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.